Okay. So the platform uh, that we have built has a, a user interface that is, is built for non-technical people, for people who really don't know anything about data, they don't have to know anything about data, uh, they don't have to know how data is stored, uh, how uh, clinical terms are represented in the database, they don't have to know terminologies, coding systems, uh, which is all the... Yes which is all the, uh, the mess that is, that is uh, uh, under the hood of the system. Uh, they, ju they just ask the questions in their own clinical language. So for example, in this use case, which I started to build and we'll just uh, add some more to it. Um, uh, my question was about, about patients who underwent uh, coronary angioplasty uh, in the context of uh, acute myocardial infarction. And my question was about, uh, uh, about uh, certain outcomes are uh, related to uh, or correlate in correlation with, with the time that, the, that the, this procedure was done uh, after the arrival to the, to the hospital, looking at the performance of this specific hospital to see how, how, uh, how this hospital performs on, this, on these patients. Um, so I'm, I'm defining my cohort, uh, my patients who underwent uh, uh, PTCA for the first time, but in the context of acute MI. Uh, so again, acute MI, I have no idea how this is d documented in the system, but from, for me, it's, it's acute myocardial infarction, so I just look for infarction. Uh, the system shows me into, uh, in, in the entire big data uh, where infarction is being mentioned in all kinds of uh, aliases and, and variations. So I want patients with diagnosis of, uh, of uh, acute uh, uh, MI. There are many, many diagnoses here, which I can now go and you know, pick uh, the ones that I want. Uh, there are dozens here, or I could leverage the semantic uh, layer that we have in the, pro in the product uh, that enables me to search for, for clinical terms on a higher level of, of abstraction. For example, if I go to, to the category of the diseases, then all those dozens are categorized in just these five. Uh, uh, groups of, of diagnosis. So if I grab this one, the ST elevation and non-ST elevation MI, uh, I just grabbed all the various uh, very granular uh, diagnosis uh, relevant for my question. And at this point, I can go and ask the, the system, how many patients uh, do, do, do I have? Um, and this is done in real life. The, the system goes and calculates in this database, which is not a large one, and there are about a thousand patients which had PTCA in context of acute myocardial infarction. So this is my cohort. Now I can go and ask for data elements to uh, analyze this cohort, to ask questions about this cohort. For example, I want to know uh, things about the procedure itself. For example, the age of the patient or the wire insert date, when was the, the, the time the wire was inserted in the, in the procedure uh, and so on. Uh, I can go and uh, ask questions about the diagnosis itself uh, and any data element or any question that has representation in the data, I can add here as an output of my question, for example. An outcome uh, such as readmission, I want to define it by, my, by myself. So readmission and uh, again, readmission can be many things, but for me, it's an admission that happened within a certain uh, period of time after the procedure. Uh, so I, I, I just write admission because it's an admission for me, an admission event. Um, and I want to grab the exact admission that I want for my uh, 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 case here, which is the first readmission, the first admission within 30 days of the procedure. So I ask for the first. I could ask for the second or the last or, uh, or whatever is relevant. The first one after or before, or at and after, or ever, after the procedure date itself. And I want to limit it so that the admission start date is in days less or equal to 30 days. So that's my definition of readmission. And I defined it in my own you know, clinical knowledge and understanding using things that I know from my, my daily clinical life. I don't know anything about the data, but I'm just using these definitions. And for this readmission, I want the, um, let's say, the uh, admission start date, but not the date itself because it has no relevancy actually. But I want to know how many days 
uh, elapsed from the procedure itself. Uh, so I could ask for the days, I could ask for how many hours elapsed or in what quarter was the uh, readmission or what season or what uh, uh, weekday. Sometimes uh, we have researchers on you know, weekdays and so on. But now I want just days from reference event and so on. I can, I can just check uh, things that I want, like the age of the patient uh, uh, and so on. Um, I want, for example, to know whether they received a certain medication like beta blockers, so I can ask for medication and specify the group of beta blocking agents. There may be dozens of beta blocking agents. I don't need to know any of them. I just ask for beta blocking agent. The system will grab all the relevant ones. And if I'm happy with what I ask so far, and I can just add more and more as needed, I can go and just get the data, ask the data. And at this point, um, the system uh, uh, makes sure that no patient privacy is, is uh, uh, um, there's no risk for patient privacy. Uh, if I'm allowed to see uh, original data, for example, if I have an IRB in place uh, for my research, then I can just get, go and download uh, the original file. Uh, and I, I need to, appro uh, to uh, provide my approval key and just ask the system to download the file, and uh, I'll just get the data itself. And if we'll just open it uh, real quickly, uh, we'll see that it represents everything that we asked for. Uh, so each row is a patient uh, in my cohort, and each column is things that we asked for, the PTCA, the beta blockers, the readmissions, and so on. These are the things that we just added. But if I'm not allowed to, um, uh, to see uh, original data, then the system will generate the synthetic data. Uh, I'll just click here and generate the synthetic data. And at this point, the system goes and uh, learns the statistical properties of my exact cohort based on what I defined, uh, throws away the original data, so I will not get the original data, and the system creates a new cohort of patients, non-existent patients, uh, uh, but m this cohort will retain the exact, uh, the exact uh, uh, statistical properties of the original one. Uh, let's look at it. So this is the synthetic here. Let's put it here. And this is the original. You can see that there are rows and the columns are the same, but none of the rows here exist in the original ones. But any statistical uh, test that we will apply to the synthetic cohort, like simple ones, like let's look at the average age, okay, 67 in the original, uh, and 66.99 in the synthetic, and this is very simple, obviously, but complex statistical uh, uh, um, uh, properties will be retained in the, uh, in, in the uh, uh, synthetic cohort. As, uh, as it is in the uh, original ones. In addition to the, uh, just getting the data, which is fine, I can take the data into any statistical tool and do my statistics, my, my, my analysis. Uh, we are building uh, uh, some tools, some discovery tools that, uh, that are part of the process of, I have a question in mind, I go and define the, 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 the cohort, I get the data, and I do some discovery by myself, again, without uh, the need of professionals, to some to some extent, so and this is just a, a, a demo of a tool. This is not the tool that we are building, but just to show you the the process, the thought process. Um, so the cohort that I ask for, uh, these are the data elements that I ask for, and I can just work with the exact data that I ask for, and and do my initial uh, discovery, just looking at age distribution. It was very simple, or look at. Um, how my organization performed over the years in, in this PTCA. So here I can see that there's a certain jump here in 2016, which would be interesting for me to, uh, to look at, to see what, what happened. For example, I would want to know if the fact that we're doing more PTCAs in this year, uh, does it have any impact on outcomes? Like, for example, uh, readmission. So let's just take the readmission that I just defined previously and look at the density of the readmissions over the years, not much different. Different, so again, there's no real statistics here yet, but I'm just doing some discovery. I'm just trying to understand, figure out what's going on in, 
uh, with this population, so no big difference in, in readmissions probably. Um, let's look at some other uh, outcome like death, for example. So, and here I can see that there's probably more. Let's just uh, let's see. Is okay, this one. So, um, let's look at it again. So, so there's probably more death in 2016 that the display got a little bit uh, uh, messed up. And then I can go on and look at, for example, uh, um, age distributions to see whether there's any difference in age distributions over the years. Maybe we're uh, categorizing more elderly patients. That, that, that's, that's the reason there's probably a little bit more death. We see that there's no difference. And I can go on and on and do some more discovery um, and then focus on the things that are valuable to look uh, deeper into. For example, if I uh, see that there's some missing data that I didn't bring uh, in my uh, previous uh, uh, query. I, just, I can just go back, add another uh, column, and continue my, my discovery. So it's all me doing the work. I have the question. It's in my hand to define everything in no time, as, as, as you uh, have seen. Um, and this is, this is how it works. And, uh, uh, you know, since the system is, is uh, deployed in, in, in uh, the hospitals in, here in Israel and uh, a few in the, in the U.S., uh, people have more confidence, have more questions in mind because now they can really ask the questions. So they can they have a question, they just go into the system, ask the question. Sometimes they don't find anything, sometimes they find valuable uh, data in it, and, and uh, it, it actually liberates the data uh, for their uh, for their usage. Uh, that's what I had. Many questions? Yes. So the data the data is uh, set up by the organization. So this is an enterprise solution. Hospitals are installing the system. They put in the entire data. Sorry? Is it the mission's goal to insert data? No, no, no. It's the hospital. It's the IT. We have, it's a project. We, we, we set up the data. It's a big data. Like we take all the EHR data, the lab, any clinical system that the hospital has, we put the data in the, in, in the data lake. Uh, the system organizes it in, in a way that is uh, easy for clinicians to find what they want. You see, I just search in, in my own language. And then the users are non-technical. Clinicians, researchers, managers. Uh, What's the, uh, the motivation to say, hey, I have this uh, empty stone system, I want to go and search for it? So they have, the motivation is that they have questions. They have dozens of questions. So clinicians and everybody in the hospital actually has questions around quality, around best practices, around operations, around money, about you know cost. How can I reduce uh, I don't know adverse outcomes? So for example, we have many examples from hospitals. Let's take uh, quality for example. So Rambam Hospital, which was the first that uh, implemented our system, uh, they, 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 they use the system to detect um, deviations from guidelines. Physicians which, that are not working exactly by the, by, by the guidelines uh, for conditions which are, which are problematic sometimes. For example, uh, um, medications that are not prescribed as, as they should. Um, so we have many, many questions. Usually, usually there are hypotheses, there are gut feelings, um, or they, they just want to know what's happening. Uh, Other questions? So, sorry? So, um, it's much easier than, let's say, a regular BI project. This is not a BI solution because the way we represent the data, we're not building a big, um, uh, you know, data models. We, we take whatever there is in the hospital, we do data curation. We do integrate data for many systems. For example, if you have every almost every hospital has more than one information system for for the clinic, one e more than one EHR. 
So for example, you can have diagnosis in one EHR and diagnosis in the other EHR and so on. We integrate all this into just one diagnosis event because for me as a researcher, I don't really care what, where that came from. So we do a lot of work to uh, make it easier for the end user. But a typical project, um, which takes 90% of the hospital data, is, is a couple of months. It's, it's quite quick, quite quick. And then it can go much deeper into very specific verticals, but that's more advanced. So regarding, I, I'll start with the, with, the, with the last part. So regarding the res reversibility, um, obviously there's some mathematics um, under, the, under the hood in the engine that uh, cannot be disclosed, that's our IP. But the mathematics is, is such that you know, it's not reversible because there are no real patients in the synthetic data. We generate new patients, we, we, we do not uh, de-identify existing patients and copy them to the, to, the, uh, to the output. We are inventing new data. So since we invent new data, there are no real patients in that data. But the, the statistics are, are the same. Again, maybe in the next lecture you can, you can hear more about you know, the concept of synthetic data. Hovab here, our chief science officer, will, will, will go into details. And as for uh, giving some confidence uh, to the users, we, um, for every query, the system generates this comparison file, which, which I can show you in a second, that shows uh, the user uh, compares the parameters that the user asks for for this specific cohort, compares the distribution of the original data versus the synthetic data. So you can see that so if the user sees that you know, the distribution is, is almost similar, then that means that the, the synthetic data represents at least uh, in the distribution it represents the, the, the original data. And then we have the, this, uh, this comparison, the correlation of uh, each parameter with, each par with the, the, every other parameter. And if they are on this diagonal, then you can really rely on, rely on the data. And sometimes they're not, they're not the same. And then the user knows, knows that this column, not good enough uh, for synthetic. It happens rarely, but it can happen. Um, so this is the confidence, and beyond that, we have done dozens of researches in which we compared synthetic to, to real. We have run this, the same research on synthetic and then on real, uh, we got the same result. So, uh, so these are the, the tools that, that we provide, and if there's still not enough confidence, uh, what you usually say that you can do a lot of your work on synthetic data just to start to fill the data to see whether there's, you find something for your hypo hypothesis. And if you find something, you can, you can always apply for an IRB, get the real data, and j just do the final validation. You know, because many times you have a hypothesis, you wait for weeks and months to get the data, apply for IRB, and then there's nothing in, in, in there because you know, the hypothesis wasn't... Uh, so you kind of wasted, wasted a lot of time. Okay, thank you.